Hi, howdy, welcome back to yet another episode. Now, if you can't tell by the title of today's video, we're going to look at some of Charlotte Tilbury's eyeliners because I did have a request for eyeliners. So I am slowly working my way through the different brands that I do have and I thought I would give you guys a look. But first off, if this is your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit subscribe, then like, either or, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now, Charlotte Tilbury is a luxury brand. I have most of her eyeliners. I was really excited when I bought them. And they went with all the makeup. I, I do coordinate things. When I have to replace these, I don't believe I will be keeping replacing these with Charlotte Tilbury, or at least not all of them. Some of them I will probably change brands, probably go to like Fenty, which is cheaper, or Marc Jacobs, which is cheaper, or quite a few people which are cheaper. Because honestly, these are the Charlotte Tilbury's liquid it says Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. This one is in Bedroom Black, made in Germany, 24 month lifespan it says. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch it for you. This is black. Now, these are soft. These are like super soft. There's no tug on the skin when you do it. So when it comes time to apply, it is actually an amazing application. However, for their application, I wouldn't call them anything super spectacular, super out of the ordinary. Rock and Roll Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in Maryland Midnight. This is basically a blue. And this one I've not actually gotten to use yet. I really need to. This is one of the reasons I'm not sure I would purchase again. Can you tell that's blue even? Like barely, right? Like if you're sitting here where I'm sitting, it does have a blue sheen goes on like butter but yet again with an out of this world price point now this one is iconic liquid eye pencil eye cheat for bigger brighter eyes is what it's called this one i would never have purchased myself in fact i didn't i bought one of her mystery boxes and this was in it so since i had it i decided i need to do something with it okay not a problem turns out i ended up loving this color and it's one of my most used colors because it actually goes really well with a lot of the pinky ones. Now, a lot of people use this in their waterline to make their eyes look bigger, but since I wear contacts, it just causes my contacts to stick. It does not work well. Okay, we've got, this is my personal favorite of her eyeliners. It's called Pillow Talk. It's supposed to be blendable and long lasting. Honestly, these are really long lasting. I'm not even gonna pretend. And I think the reason I like this one is the diversity on the color. When you pair this with the her Dreamgasm palette or her Pillow Talk palette or her Pillow Talk Instant Eye palette, it takes on an almost purpley tone. Like it is a reddish brown, but it takes on an almost purple tone, which is just gorgeous. And I don't know why it took her so long to come out with this color, but I do love this one. And I actually have a backup of this one purchased. Okay, we've got Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in Barbarella Brown. That doesn't look brown at all, does it? Which in lies why when it comes time to repurchase eyeliners, I will probably not be going with the Charlotte Tilbury ones again. I may keep the this one. And this one, but when it comes to redoing the others, I may go with a different brand that has a little bit more color variation in its colors. Now this one is Elizabeth Violet. I'm pretty sure that one was supposed to be named after Elizabeth Taylor because her eyes were violet. Can't really tell, it's like a violety color, can you? And then my last one is Verushka Mink or at least the last one of her regular standard line. Now this one is a gray, and actually I have come to really enjoy this color, especially when I'm doing a gray look, because contrary to how it's coming out in the camera, like I wish it would come out a little bit better, but this really does come as a gray, not like as in I'm a shade off from black, but it comes out as gray. The rest, as you can tell, it's hard to even tell what color they're supposed to be a version of. And I think part of the problem is a lot of her looks are designed to come out like these smoky, dramatic eyes with a coordinating color with the base color. And unfortunately, 
or Min Maryland Midnight, the blue base looks pretty much like the black. The brown looks pretty close to the black. The violet looks pretty close to the black. Like they're not what you would call distinctive colors. So yeah, like I said, when it comes time, I probably will not be repurchasing these as Charlotte Tilbury. I might switch to Fenty or even Urban Decay because the quality is there. Ooh, I almost forgot this one, Sapphire Sex. This one went with her, oh, she had, it was a series called Eyes to Mesmerize. It was like this cat-based one. I was just in love with it. And that one actually is probably the bluest one I've got. And it's got little micro glitter in it that goes with this most beautiful eyeshadow she came out with. I wish she had not stopped it. I really wish she had kept up with that collection and maybe added more colors because it was a gorgeous collection. Now, these are the last two Charlotte Tilbury eye makeup pencils I have. The last two eyeliners I have. And these recently came out with her... Um, like eye color coordinating series, you know, like the um, makes your green eyes pop or your hazel eyes pop or the blue pop. So I have the green one she has and the maroon one she has, and I'm gonna show you these as well. Now, these are kind of more what I would hope for with Charlotte Tilbury, especially with the price point. See, that is an olive, that's a beautiful olive. I love this one and I hope she continues these eyeliners, honestly, because the colors are gorgeous. Now this is a forest brown, like a hunter brown. Not brown, but green. Hunter green. It's hard to tell in this lighting, right? It's hard to tell in person as well. It is a very dark, deep green. If you can't tell, that one's my favorite of the two set. Okay, now let's go to the maroon one. It's definitely maroon. And the other end, which is a metallic. And there's that. That is all the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners I own. I know you're thinking, you only have two eyes. Why do you need that many? Well, I bought them to coordinate with the looks that you get with Charlotte Tilbury. I did not expect the colors to be so muted and dark for most of them. And like I said, when it comes time to repurchase, I probably will not be repurchasing most of these as Charlotte Tilbury. Like, I don't have to specifically get a Charlotte Tilbury in black. I, like I said, I would probably just switch this to Fenty. It's cheaper, but like five or 10 bucks. Now, when it comes time to repurchase these two, I will definitely repurchase. Now, let's give you guys a, a, a quick visual of what these look like. We're gonna start off with the green one so you guys can see it. I'm gonna do two different eye colors. If you're hoping I have steady hands enough today to pearl off the perfect wing, we're both in trouble. Because I can guarantee you, I do not. God help me, I try though. <laughs> okay, that is the metallic green, which I do love. Now, we will offset that with using this one. It is the whitish pink one. Now trust me when I say this actually looks absolutely stunning with a pink palette. Like this is, it looks almost white, but it's actually like a peachy skin tone almost. It's supposed to make your eyes look bigger. I tend to use this with the Exaggerize palette as an eyeliner or sometimes the Pillow Talk because it just makes the rest of the eye color really pop out in color. This is, like I said, one of the few that I would repurchase. Let's stand up, let's take a, or I can just get closer. Actually, I can get closer for this one. These are really good. Now watch this. No, I don't have a primer on my eyes right now, in case you're curious. This is just the formula. And a little bit of the skin toned one came off, but the green one did not. Oh. 
Okay, what do you guys think? I personally, now that I own them, I've owned them for a while. It's not yet time for me to get rid of them. I will use them until I have to get rid of them. But like I said, when it comes time to replace them, I do not believe I will be replacing them with Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is a high price point product. Like her entire line is luxury line, which is great. But nothing about the majority of these really makes it stand out from some of the other brands to make it worth the price point. So I will probably switch brands to something else. Besides, I get really frustrated when I have to sharpen these. Like, it's not that I have to sharpen them that frustrates me. It's that it's so hard to get a good working point on these. Like, the, the product itself is super duper soft. There is no tugging on the eyelid when you're doing it. But when you're sharpening it, I swear half the time this breaks off in the sharpener and you have to start over again and it feels like you're wasting about half of the pencil in the sharpener. Which is just a waste to me. I'm sorry. I paid how much for this and half of it disappears in my sharpener. Why? So yeah, I'm gonna have to research a couple of other brands when it comes time to replace these. Right now, that's not anytime soon. I probably got like another year because these I believe are a 24 month, 24 month eyeliner. Good luck finding another eyeliner that's got that lifespan. But it's listed for 24 months. So there's that. But like I said, I probably will go with a different company. And these don't wanna come off. They just, they're, they're not really, they're meant to be a long-term eyeliner. They're supposed to withstand, you know, crying and rain and all that. Okay, has anybody else tried Charlotte Tilbury's eyeliners? I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, do, you, do you like them better than Fenty? Do you like them better than any other brand? Or do you find them just the same like I do? Because to me, the quality seems just the same as a couple of other brands. Nothing about the quality would make it super duper stand out over any others, as far as I can tell. I mean, don't get me wrong, the formula is amazing, but at the same time, there's quite a few other companies that have amazing formulas as well. Okay, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite brand is. You know, I mean, do you have a surprisingly favorite color? Let me know, leave it down in the comments. I would love to talk about eyeliners. I've got a couple more videos coming up with different eyeliner brands. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, have a nice night. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, social distancing, wear your mask where needed. And be nice to your essential employees, essential workers. We are trying, swear to God. It's just hard to keep up with some of the stuff, even now, because our supply chains are so shaky from this stuff. Okay, guys, have a nice night.